Okay, Karina, for the 23rd, we have winter trees. In summer, when it's very hot, trees are dressed in leaves. In winter, when it snows a lot, they're bare, breezy, breezy trees. So see the difference between the summer tree and the winter tree? That is very true. Everything goes bare in the winter, and then it slowly comes back in the spring until it's bloomed in the summer, right? Some things bloom in spring. Not all things, though. Back to our book. Then four more little snowmen sped around Olaf. He held on to his head and then lifted it into the air as his body spun in circles. When the spinning stopped, he dropped his head back into place. Olaf paused and looked around, turning his head and tasting and testing his view. I think I'm good, he nodded. Over by the cake table, Kristoff was having his own problems. Please, he shouted, just no. Stay away from the cake. The seven little snowmen had finally clambered up into the cake table. Desperate, Kristoff drove towards, dove towards the table then picked up the cake and held it as high in the air as he could. The cake's four layers toppled from one side to the other as he tried to balance it. Stop! Kristoff shouted. The little snowman surrounded him as they tried to climb up his body. Whoa! Oh! Hey! Ticklish! Hee hee! Kristoff broke free from the little snowman, but only for a few seconds. He began to ran and tripped over the other little snowman. As Kristoff fell, he managed to hold the cake up high. He tossed it up towards Olaf before he hit the ground. Hey, oh, Olaf called out cheerfully. He had lost his head again, and he watched the cake fly through the air. His body was about three feet away, and he lifted his little twig arms to catch the cake. Nearby Seven's tongue was still stuck to the ice pole. He looked up with a worried expression. The cake swirled towards Olaf, but no, Kristoff said. The cake flew over the heads of several little snowmen. It flew over Olaf, then it headed towards Seven. And miraculously, the reindeer caught the cake in his antlers. What a catch, Seven. Good boy, Kristoff said. Then he saw something out of the corner of his eye. He turned and saw a bunch of little snowmen swinging from the birthday banner. Now hold on, Kristoff said. Then he stepped short the banner petals and then rearranging again. It now read Happy Harry Ant Band. Kristoff groaned. How would they ever keep things in good shape until Anna's surprise party? Oh, baby, he has so much trouble going on in his life right now with all these little snowmen just everywhere. Some days you're going to be having a really, really chaotic day, right? Always wait until tomorrow. Some days are just a bad day, and that's just the way that it is. So you get that day over with, you try to get as much stuff as you can, get done with that time frame, and then you move on to your next day. Karina, I love you and I miss you. I hope that you're having a great day today, honey. I can't wait to see you soon.